Okay, just now after introducing all the different types of matrices, right? And also some terms. Now we are going to move on to addition and subtraction of matrices. Okay, so this is pretty similar to how we would do to normal numbers as well. Okay, so you can, okay, one key thing to take note of is you can only add or subtract matrices if they are of the same order. Okay, so first thing to take note of, uh, this is very important. So if they are not of the same order, you cannot add or subtract the matrices. Okay, you will see why. So in general, right, if you want to add up two matrices, Okay, you are going to take the first element, add it to the second element, and then you have the element in the first row, second column, added to the one in the first row, second column. Okay, so they must be corresponding elements of the same row and column uh, when you add them up. So this is A plus E, this is B plus F, then this is C plus G, and D plus H. Okay, so add up the elements in those corresponding rows and columns. Okay, for both matrices. Okay, then similarly for subtraction as well. So you will do it usually, like how you would do in normal addition and subtraction of numbers. Okay, so the first entry will be A minus E. Okay, the one in the first row, second column is B minus F. The one in the second row, the uh, second row, first column is C minus G. And lastly, second row, second column, D minus H. Okay, so key thing to take note of, right? If you have a two by two matrix added to a two by two matrix or subtracted, okay, you will always end up with the same two by two matrix, okay, of the same order. Okay, so that's for addition and subtraction, huh? Okay, so some key things to take note of also, it's brought down from all your number operations, huh? and also your algebra. Okay, so like those operations, your matrix addition is commutative. Okay, meaning if you add A, matrix A to B, it's the same as adding matrix B to A. Okay, so the order doesn't matter. Okay, and matrix addition is also associative. Okay, notice how I put the emphasis on addition and subtraction. Uh? Okay, so for subtraction is different. Uh? So in this case, when I have A minus B, right, it's not the same as B minus A usually. Yeah? Okay, and the also associative property also don't hold. Okay, usually. So all of this is only applicable for matrix addition. Okay, okay now let's look at an example. Okay, given that A equals to this and B equals to this, find matrix A plus matrix B. Okay, so again, confirm this is a 2 by 2, 2 by 2. Okay, then you can do matrix addition. Okay, so A plus B, this is equals to 3, 1, 2, negative 1, add up to negative 1, 0, 4, 3. Okay, so you're going to add each of the elements in each of the columns row and column okay so for the first one it is three plus negative one so it is three minus one which is two okay then in the first row second column two plus four you have six and then one plus zero one negative one three get two okay so that's for part b Okay, so for part B, the values of P and Q is B minus A equals to this. Okay, so write down first, B minus A equals to P negative 1, 2, 2, Q. Okay, then you will write down the matrix for B and A. So negative 1, 0, 4, 3, minus 3, 1, 2, negative 1 equals to P negative 1, 2, 2, Q. Okay, then simplify this first up. Uh. So you would have negative 4, 2, negative 1, and 4. Okay, so negative 1 minus 3, 4 minus 2, 0 minus 1, 3 minus 1. Okay, to get this matrix over here. 
Okay, now this is e equals to p minus 1, 2, 2 cubed. Okay, so again, if two matrices are equal, you're going to compare the corresponding elements. Uh. Okay, so for the one in row 1, column 1, this is, okay, in row 1, column 1, you have negative 4 equals to p. Okay, so p should be equals to negative 4. Uh. Okay, then in row 2, column 2, you have 4 equals to 2 q. So therefore, q should be equals to 2. Okay. Okay, lastly, part C. The matrix C is B plus C equals to A. Okay, so first, B plus C equals to A. Okay, so you want to find the matrix C, right? Okay, so you're going to make C the subject. Huh? So this is A minus B. Okay, you can only do that for addition and subtraction, okay? Don't do that for multiplication, huh? which we will touch on later. Okay, so this is equals to sub in your A and B matrix. Huh? 3, 1, 2, minus 1, minus negative 1, 0, 4, 3. Okay, so just minus in each of the respective rows and columns up. So you have 4 minus minus like minus 1, you get 4. 2 minus 4, you get negative 2. 1 minus 0 and negative 1 minus 3. Okay, so this is your matrix C. Okay, so this is so far simple. Okay, so it's brought down from like your normal number operations uh, and all, all your algebra operations as well. Okay, so that is for addition and subtraction of matrices. Okay, now let's quickly do all these examples. So you guys can pause for a while and try it out by yourself first. Okay, so this should be negative 1, 13. This is negative 24, negative 1, negative 25, negative 9. Negative 7, negative 21, 12. Negative 2, 5, 0, 18. Okay. So that is all we have for addition and subtraction of matrices.